hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so i've been gone for a while and that's because i've been looking for how to figure out like how to keep posting on youtube because you know i got really burnt out because i feel like i posted for too long anyways if you're a home baker and like you know you bake from home you make cakes or you're looking to go into that business and start this is the channel to watch because from henceforth i'm going to be making videos for you guys about um my cake bakery working from home you know the things i do and that way you can learn a lot from me especially if you are just starting out okay so today guys we are going to be um working on this cake it's a buttercream cake and it's three tiered but it's like it kind of looks like five tiers because it has like you know two separators in between and i already put some flowers and some light into the separator so everything can look extra extra grand yeah so if you're really interested in that keep watching and i'm going to be popping off at intervals you know just to give you guys slight explanations of the things i'm doing okay basically yeah for this cake yeah let me explain to you guys i'm not like I'm, I like to put my cakes together at home and then put them apart and put them in the fridge before I go set up at the wedding venue. And that's because if there's anything I want to change, if, if there's anything I feel like kind of looks off, I get to change it before I see the final product at the wedding. Usually if you go do cake setup, like you only take a couple of tools with you and a couple of stuff. So when you get there and you feel like there's something missing, there's really, really very little you can do about it at that point. So for this cake, I'm just putting it together first and then i'm going to pull it apart and put it in the fridge before i put it together again at the venue tomorrow i hope that makes sense right Okay, so my bride wanted it to have purple and red. Initially, I thought like those two colors are like really weird, right? I feel like, <laughs> why would you use purple and red? But when it was done, like she wanted the flowers to be purple and red and the cake to be like um, ivory, which was what I did. So I covered it in buttercream. And when I was done, it looked really, really, really pretty. And I'm trying as much as possible not to, I'm using toothpicks to insert the flowers into the cake and i prefer to use toothpicks instead of skewers because they're a lot tinier so they make your life easier and i also use it to insert the leaves as well so it just makes um things like a lot easier for you 
anyways when i was like you know when i'm done with this i'm going to pull everything out and those holes of the toothpick are still going to be there tomorrow when i want to set up my cake so i'm just going to pull it apart and put it in the fridge so everything will solidify again and then when i get to the venue tomorrow i'm going to properly dowel and you know put my flowers back into those holes i made initially and if something does not stick make sure to take some white chocolate along and some free spray so you can make it you know stick as much as possible and i kind of feel like you guys cannot see the top of the cake if you get what i mean but that's because of the angle with which i was filming from i kind of just bought a new camera so i'm not very used to it yet anyway i feel like cameras would be a lot better the videos would be a lot better but it's a lot easier to film with phones and stuff anyways at this point i'm just putting the flowers i'm going to put some at the bottom too so let me know if you guys like it and if you guys love this content let me know so i can make a lot more like this Can you guys tell how tired I was with this thing? Yeah, but I feel like the more the cake came together, the more I loved it. And I think it looked a, it looked a lot prettier than I thought. And I got my um, partner to hold some parts of, you know, to film some part of it for me. Because it made it a lot easier. And we're still kind of learning with this camera. So, bear with us, guys. Anyways, so at this point, I was really happy. You notice, like, I kind of have, like, renewed energy. <laughs> Because it looks really, really, really cute. I think tomorrow though, I'm going to remove the white flowers at the top so it can look a lot better. I felt like the white kind of washed out the edges of the flower arrangement. I don't know, maybe that was just me. Anyway, so when I was done, this cake was really pretty and I was so happy. So if you learned a thing or two, please make sure to leave me a comment or two. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for always watching my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Yay, bye.